Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 119 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. So, without any ado, let's see if we can defeat that Ice Spirit, finally. My first trial run had an interesting surprise to it when these two came and captured my base on the first turn because I wasn't paying any attention to them. Let's just throw out my level 32 characters. Even though these enemies are so weak they're only going to give like three experience points. And Detem will come along to do some mining. You know what? You're just one star spirits anyway, you're probably not worth capturing. Oh, these guys are more cooperative than my first run. The first time that one just stayed back, sniping me, Rishu, and incidentally causing paralysis. It took her till turn 9 to collect these three things. Well, kill those two and then collect those three things. Hmm. It's just a wind spirit. Necklace. Yorin. You've probably seen them before. So we've cleared out most of this place before, so there's not much to say. Just wander on in and smash everything you see. Until you get to that last one, of course. Yeah, and that's it for Yorin. We'll send him back home next turn. Mm, actually, I think I'll bring Yorin out for just one moment. in a few turns. Oh, look, a trap. Alright, now we're ready. Bearing in mind, this character, this enemy here is still level 45, so well above our pay grade. But we have a vast collection of characters that are practically invincible. Okay, basically one character who's practically invincible. Although I'm still going to buff him up a bit with the magic barrier skill. Because this enemy likes to use magic skills. You might think that this is Ice Pillar, and it might be Ice Elemental, but no, it is in fact so cold that it is non-elemental. Or something. Don't 
some time ago I did this. It might have been five levels or so, and it was a much tougher battle. Anyway, let's get to smashing. Interestingly, Tarin is actually a better spellcaster than he is a melee fighter at this point. 35 physical attack, 48 magic attack. I think it has to do with the fact that you can't find very many giants. In any case, we do want to make sure to kill this with somebody who can capture her and also do a lot of damage. Because while Yorin can do a lot of damage, yes, he can't necessarily do a lot of damage at the same time as attempting captures. Which is why Detailm is four spaces away with his sniping earth bow. Well, good job with the crit. He gets 50 experience and blue liquid. That's ridiculous. Okay, so this is a tough enemy. But now that we've defeated her, this area will be easier to explore. Oh, what's this? There's a path behind it, but we can't get through because it's frozen over. Perhaps it's related to this ice spirit we just defeated, so if we set some time aside later to come by, it will be melted out. We. And that's the story of that. Look at Ice Knight Necklace. That's the upgraded version of the Water Spirit Necklace. <laughs> oh, hey. Unfreezing ice chunks. Uh, unmelting ice chunks. I think there's something that requires that in my in my uh, workshop. And now that we've defeated that enemy, there's an event we can go see. You guys remember this, don't you? Back when we came and recruited Rude in here, they showed this scene. Well, this scenery. It's a different cutscene. So we're looking at this pale lake. So it's cold, and Eo wants to start a fight real quick. Yeah, just warm her up. Oh, come on, wait, wait, don't get too uh, hasty here. So we're trying to soothe her and looking at that mound of ice in the lake. So our wonders if there isn't some way we might be able to get there. Perhaps swimming across. No way, she'll die. <laughs> Eel just thinking about it starts to shiver. Well, even so, she's cute that way. Now, Fio too thinks that maybe we shouldn't try this. This is unusual for Fia, Avara points out. Usually she's the one that's all like, Hey, let's go try that! Yeah, that's how she usually is, but... So, Mikio's idea is that even though it's cold out, perhaps the temperature of the water isn't actually that cold. That's not how water works, but whatever. Sure, Avaro will bite this. So he's gonna give it a shot. So he comes down to the water surface and sticks his finger in it. And at that instant, in the vicinity of his finger, the water starts freezing up, gets bigger and bigger, almost like a living thing, and crawls up his finger and gets as far as his wrist, in fact. Okay, Avaro is so good at making friends that the lake has actually bit him. This is him screaming out in pain. <laughs> ah, that really hurts. And it's not just that it's cold, it just hurts. This is bad. 
If you got into this, even if you weren't ill, you'd die. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, Havara, are you alright? Show it to Fia. Oh man, that's ugly. So she starts with the healing magic. And thanks to that, the pain does subside. Well, there is the possibility of crossing in a boat. But if on the way over it capsized or sunk, oh yeah, you'd be in trouble then. I thought I was really disappointed. Oh, no. I've already... There's a server running down his uh, spine. Obviously, if something bad happened in a boat, there'd be no way to survive. <laughs> okay. He wants to tell Varo that there's no shame in running away. In fact, running away, we'd like to do real l like now. Yeah, she was just looking for an opportunity to retreat. But if he gives up here, he'd feel like he's losing. He'd be giving up on his pride as an engineer. Come on now, let's not try pushing too hard here. Why don't we try again some other day, Fia says. Well, of our nose, but seeing this mysterious thing in front of us, he just can't give up so easily. There must be a way. Well, if Avara wants to go so badly, how about Mikhail goes? Seriously, do you have a way? So if she freezes the water surface as she goes along, then she can walk along the frozen water, like so, she thinks. Alright, that's a good plan. That's basically the story of how she can walk across water in the various maps as well. So yeah, this is well suited to Mikeyu. It's thanks to the nature of her magic. Alright, so let's give it a shot right away. Hi. So she does her magic and she steps out onto the surface of the water. And as she comes in contact, it freezes up. And she stands there. But that doesn't last long and the ice continues to creep up and gets her legs. Whoa, Mikael, come back here. That's bad. All right, so it gets her legs and she can't pull them out. But in the thrashing around, the, her allies were able to pull her to safety. She unfortunately lost her shoes though. That was close. Yeah, as of Fia thought, it's probably a bad idea. After all, Rudin's been saying so this whole time. Wait, he's here? We haven't heard anything from him. Alright, Rudin, can we get an explanation from you? Yeah, if my master wishes it. So, the coldness in this area is different from normal coldness. Thanks to some godly power, even the elemental spirits in the area are subordinated to it. So he points out there, uh, rather to, yeah, 
to some spirits that are out on the water surface. Some of the things that are out on the water surface. Some of the things that are out on the water surface. Some of the things that are out on the water surface. So anything that touches it, the ice will eat into and erode away. That truth is true even for demon kind. In fact, even flames will be frozen. Hmm, is that so? If you knew this, you should have told us earlier. <laughs> Well, he had no responsibility to tell un anyone other than his master. After all, there's someone here taking advantage of her. I've got a great idea, Rodin. You're the next one testing the waters. Go ahead, we don't mind. We can unsummon you, and besides, you don't feel pain. As far as I'm concerned. Wait, someone taking advantage of Fia? Are you talking about me? He doesn't even answer. Okay, fine then. But thanks to the explanation, Navarro has a plan. In any case, thank you, Rudin. I didn't do it for you, you bastard. You don't need to convey his responses to me. Rudin's kind of hilarious in his own way. So, Navarro's got his plan, and once he builds whatever, then we can return and try this again. Hmm, how nice. It just so happens I need five. High quality iron scraps for this. Otherwise, pretty much common stuff. Yes. Yes. Sugida. So we've put together this freezing shot device. So if we shoot this out onto the lake, it should activate the freezing response. And somehow this will allow us to cross. Well, so as soon as we get a chance, we should go and give it a shot. Now oh, that was a re... That line was a recap of what the lake did. And here, because of this freezing shot device, we can actually take advantage of the freezing response in order to cross. Yeah, at least that's a hope. So when we get a chance to test it out... Well, because the response it has is an adaptive response, taking advantage of it is a bit difficult, but... Logically, it should work. So, once we're ready, we should go back there and give it a shot. Hmm. Well, let's just take a look at it, but I don't think I have time for it today. Yeah, it's there, but... I'm gonna call it a day, so thank you for watching, and we will see what that is all about next time.